Hey everybody, Ken Surf's here. We're in the shave den. It's uh, Thursday and it's time for another shave. I'm wearing blue today because tonight uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers play the San Francisco Giants in uh, the playoffs and it's do or die. They both have two games each. So uh, I'm rooting for the Dodgers. Uh, but if San Francisco wins, California team. All right. But I am rooting for the Dodgers and I wish them luck tonight. We're going to do a shave now with some new products that I've had around and I just haven't got to them. And we're going to start off, and it's actually products from all over the world. Starting out from, I believe this is Spain. I believe this is Spain. Or French. No. Paris. Clarins Men. It is a shave oil, a pre-shave oil, but it says can be used as... If I can find the English translation... Uh, blah, blah, minimum amount of product, shave oil, shave ease oil, it's called. Uh, we're going to try this out. It's a pre-shave. We're going to try it out today. All right. There we go. That's it. From Paris. So pre-shave oil. We'll do a little of that. Next, from Spain. Yeah, got that one right. Leah Classics Shaving Cream. This is in a tube. I've used... Uh, Leah products before, but I'm not sure if I've used, well, I know I haven't used this particular one right here, uh, but we will try this today. And we are going to use the Van Ule bowl to mix that up with. Finally, uh, for the aftershave or the Uday Cologne, I'm going to be using from Germany, uh, 4711. You've probably seen me use this stuff before. We're going to be using this as an aftershave today. And for the razor, by popular request, I'm going to be using the Gillette Bat Black Beauty. Someone said, you haven't used that in a while. We'd have liked to have seen that in one of the previous uh, adjustable razor videos, so we're going to do that. I'm going to adjust it. Oh, Astro Blade number two. This is the second use for that blade. I'm going to start this out at number, this one goes counterclockwise. So I'm gonna start it out at number three. We'll see if that's too much of a bite. Locked in place, Black Beauty, 1969. We will try that out. All right, give me a second and we'll get started. All right, and it, it is so cool reading all of your comments because there are so many new wet shavers. Uh, one, of, one of the uh, viewers, Bobby, writes to me and says his son Parker just turned 18. He uh, loves wet shaving and he loves watching the channel. Welcome to Wet Shaving, Parker. Way to go, sir. All right, let's get this shave started. I'm going to wet my face a little before I put on the pre-shave oil. Aha, uh -huh. hold on. That's weird. Ah, okay. I wasn't screwing the whole lid. So let's put a little oil on the hand. Dry the hand for a second. There we go. Yeah, there's the oil. And I've got a little bit of growth going. Man, good scent with that. Not bad at all. I've got to find all the links and make sure I include the links to these products in case you want to try them. It is nice to have a pre-shave oil. And yeah, it's definitely oily. Look at that. Or a pre-shave soap in your den, uh, especially if you haven't shaved in a while. Okay, while that's setting up, let's open up the Leia or Leia. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna put a little bit in here. That might be too much, might be too little. We're gonna find out in a second. Also from Germany, the Mula, silver tip fiber. In fact, I gotta put this in the uh, crystal skull for a second. These don't have to soak. These fiber synthetic brushes, they do not have to soak very long. So uh, they grab the water pretty quickly. Just have to make sure you get all the water off of there. All right. And I definitely need a shave. This is probably gonna be, pretty soon I'm gonna be uh, getting closer to November. I'm gonna be growing the goatee out. I'm gonna wait a little while. Oh, and my nose is healing, see? That, uh, Dermatologist did a good job for me. Only a soap. It really is a suds maker, so. 
got kind of the traditional barbershop scent. And again, I will have links to these products. So if you want to know what they're made of, where they're from, etc., uh, you can check in the uh, uh, description of this video. Nice, nice, nice. Man, it was pretty dang cold. I went up to, uh, I took a few hours vacation the other day and I went out to my uh, sportsman's club up by Lake Matthews in Southern California. Did not expect it to be 38 degrees when I got there. And I'm wearing a, a hoodie and a t-shirt, well, a, a t-shirt, yeah, oh, it was cold. I don't know, I'm glad I'm not in Newcastle anymore. 38 degrees is probably moderate for Newcastle, if I recall. <laughs> All right. You get used to the weather that you're at. And I've been in here for 50 years, so uh, I'm kind of used to the Southern California weather. All right, let's try this out on setting three. It's knocking it down. knocked it right down. If you're collecting old uh, Gillette's, this is the short-handled version, and this is the long-handled version. Short-handled, I, I prefer the long handle, but the short handle is a little easier to maneuver. You can really, uh, you, know, you can start to do tricks with it if you wanted to. And I appreciate everybody reminding me that the new James Bond movie is No Time to Die. I must have said in the last video, No Time to Kill, but check out what I've got for the shaved in. Hot Wheels, here's the car. If you haven't seen it yet, that Austin Martin ends up looking like that. Bullet holes everywhere. Kind of cool. I'm going to probably put it back here soon. So I do make mistakes. Remember, I'm old. I fart dust, pee rust. So uh, there we go. I probably wouldn't have made that blooper in the old days. I'll blame old age. All right. On well, my lunch hour, I had to go out in the field for work earlier today to Whittier Boulevard. And man, if you ever, if you grew up in Southern California in the early 80s, Whittier Boulevard was the place for hot rodders to cruise on Friday nights. They closed all the side street off with barricades. Kids lined up with their chairs to watch. It was a fun hot rod cruising, just like on American Graffiti. And of course, uh, after a while, they end up shutting it down. I mean, after years, though. Some people end up, you know, drag racing or getting in fights, and then all good things end up coming to an end. I brought my Mustang down there many, 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 many a night. And all of my friends had hot rods back in those days. 70 Dodge Charger with a 440, my cousin Paul had. Uh, my friend George, he had a 68 Dodge Charger with a 440. Started out with a 383. There were Chevys. My friend Jim had a, uh, oh, come on, a Chevy Love pickup truck with a, 327 Corvette motor in it with a tunnel ram and he could get wheelies in that little mini truck. It was it was pretty cool. I'm glad I still have my Mustang after all these years. I know LA had a Van Nuys Boulevard and Hollywood Boulevard to cruise but uh, I don't know about the other cities, man, where there, well, like where you guys grew up, were there places back in the old days where, or even now, where uh, you could take your hot rod out and uh, 
Just go cruise on a Friday night and have some fun? Let me be curious to hear. My friend Jim, who uh, had that Chevy Love, he lives in Greece now with his wife. And uh, he was texting me the other night saying, man, I miss those days. Me too. New movie coming out tomorrow, Halloween Kills. Halloween was the first movie in 1978 when I was 16 years old that I got into. It was rated R. They didn't card me. I had to be 17. And I uh, didn't know what it was. I think I told you I went to see the Kentucky Fried movie and they caught me. What are you doing in here? That's the CID you didn't buy. Kicked me out. I went across the street to another theater. I said, man, I'm going to see an R-rated movie. Halloween? What's that? Should be fun. Damn. That scared me. <laughs> I didn't sleep for weeks. <laughs> oh. I know this is a mis mismatch of products this week, but uh, it's turning out real good. Good combo with that Astro Blade in here. Setting three, though. That's a little higher than I usually go. All right. All right. No cuts, no cuts, no cuts. Very good. All right, I've been staring at those products. I've had them on the shelf. I've been staring at them for months and I said, I gotta try these, I gotta try them. So finally, we've tried them. All right, over 7-Eleven, Germany. Very nice. burn but not too bad not too bad at all I mustn't have cut too deep I didn't take the top layer of skin off obviously because it is not making the burning sensation as bad as usually I do but it's Oude cologne so this smell is going to last quite a long time all right thank you for tuning in man I appreciate you watching uh, watching uh, I hope you have a great weekend uh, hope whoever you're uh, rooting for in this uh, baseball season does okay. And uh, I look forward to telling you what I thought of Halloween Kills. I'll be seeing it tomorrow night. And thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe. Bye for now.